Courtney. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Juliet Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Hmm. Oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. 
Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. Ah. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. <gasps> Welcome to Black Hill. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. You are ridiculous. How did you find out? Uh, why? That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? If you don't let me Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Hey, Juliet. Oh. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. You are really I locked good. Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, would I Dana do swear. that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything. According to Victoria? She saw the sex. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. So Juliet Watson. I'm flattered. Uh, of course. Thanks. I locked Dana. You are ridiculous. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? If According you to Victoria. Out, According to Victoria. She saw this. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. <clears throat> I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. That's real nice, Victoria. 
And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh, uh, Max? That's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. This is both sad and pathetic. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. 
I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Hey, 